eco tone eco tone is the transitional area between two biological communities or the area where two biological communities or ecosystem integrate and this transitional area that is eco tone has much higher biodiversity than either of these two uh, adjacent ecosystems under normal setting but if the ecotone is a human created uh, for example the ecotone that is formed between an agricultural field and a um, and a um, and a forest area this eco uh, tone will have much lesser amount of species because um, in india as well as many other countries uh, usually the slash burn agriculture technique is used where forest ground is cre it is uh, just burnt down and uh, this uh, whole uh, ash created uh, from the burning of the uh, particular area of the forest it helps in improving the fertility and so uh, uh, up to 8 to um, 10 years there is very high agricultural productivity in this uh, newly created um, agricultural area but in such an area though the agricultural production is high but uh, the ecotone between this agricultural land and the surroundings uh, forest dense forest it is not that much rich in biodiversity but under um, these are the human created ecotones but those normal uh, ecotones natural ecotones for example the ecotone that is created between a grassland and a dense forest is an open forest where the density of uh, the uh, trees is much less so this open forest has much higher number of uh, uh, higher number of plant species or animal species than a very dense canopy forest this is because there is more uh, availability of sunlight and so the variety of uh, species both flora and fauna increases in this ecotone region hello friends i am dr ayantika das and in this video i am going to discuss about ecotone which is a very important topic regarding the csi net and set even also msc and bsc but um, i will be also discussing a question uh, from uh, Gujarat set uh, as Gujarat set is quite near uh, that is in it is in November so I am just making uh, videos on Gujarat set base uh, now so let's uh, start the video so the, this is the G set question that I was talking about ecotone represents option A transition zone between two or more diverse community Option B, rate of decomposition of biomass in an ecosystem. Option C, the state of equilibrium among various tropic level in an ecosystem. Option D, degree of change in species composition along gradient. So I will be uh, uh, talking about ecotone uh, with example and various aspects of ecotone in this video. And at the end of this video, I will be discussing this question also. So, ecotone, uh, etymologically, it has two Greek words, that is oikos, which means home, and tonus, which means tension. So, we can see that this, is, this has got many um, uh, definitions, like it is called the ecological transition zone, it is also called the meeting zone, or the border zone, or the tension zone or the zone of transgression whatever be it it is the zone that is common that has got common features of both the surrounding ecosystem for example a is a is a uh, it is a ecosystem say for example it is a forest and b is a grassland ecosystem and this our ecotone let's name it c so these or let's name it e 
it will be better so our ecotone e is the zone between uh, the forest ecotone that is the for forest ecosystem that is the a and the grassland ecosystem that is b so this is the forest this is the forest area and this is the grass this is the grassland area g this is the grassland area and this is our open forest area open forest area are those area where the tree density uh, canopy cover is much less they do not have a canopy cover as such uh, their density of tree is much less but that doesn't mean that there will be a lesser diversity this uh, forest ecosystem they have um, they their main limitation is the availability of sunlight as the trees grow up they form a canopy and the um, ground penetration of light becomes limited so this is the limiting factor in forest ecosystem light but on the other hand this grassland ecosystem light availability is plenty but as a result uh, as a result of um, very little amount of tree or no tree in this area uh, the, there is a problem of water retention see uh, the the gra and this uh, grassland they are very uh, xeric and um, they suffer from drought stress but on the other hand this uh, this ecotone between this forest and grassland is the open forest open open forest that is we have written as at op open forest area has got a certain amount of trees and uh, these uh, trees they provide certain amount of shade also so uh, this uh, the drought uh, condition is intermediate between the water stress is intermediate between the grassland and the forested area also the shade factor is also intermediate so we see that any ecosystem uh, the edge region this this edge region these are less these regions are less homogeneous than the central region in any ecosystem the central region will be more homogeneous in grassland also the central region will be more homogeneous than the surrounding region and as this ecotone they are at the edge region of two ecosystem or where the two ecosystem overlap so we have characteristic of both the ecosystem here in case we see that there is a little amount of shade also there is a little amount of drought stress but not that amount that it will lead to uh, lower amount of biodiversity so we see that uh, this ecotone region this pink region they are the region which has got intermediate character between the either of the two ecosystems and this uh, characteristic can be in the form of uh, biodiversity so let's see what are the different type of ecotones for example ecotone can be between two terrestrial eco uh, system that is here we see that uh, between the high uh, mountain where uh, the temperature is much um, lower we see only a very small amount of vegetation and below that we see coniferous vegetation so this this is an um, uh, e this is a ecotone that is the tree line here the tree line will be the ecotone between the um, altitudinal um, uh, th uh, tundra region that is the high mountain as well as between the coniferous region so this is this above the tree line we see this is uh, this uh, red colored uh, I'm drawing it in separate color it will be yellow color so this tree line this region this is the ecotone between two different ecosystem that is the altitudinal um, the tundra region and the coniferous that is the deciduous uh, forest region similarly there can also be between forest 
and grassland these are also uh, the ecotone between two type of um, ecosystems that is the forest community and that of the grassland also it can be between aquatic ecosystem and here we see this one uh, this is the uh, this is the river or lake whatever it is but this region here this is the ecotone between the aquatic and terrestrial region and we see that this region has a, a different characteristic from either the water as well as terrestrial the forested area behind the much behind uh, this ecotone these have got trees on the other hand the ecotonal region has got these hydrophytes this uh, water loving grasses as well as ferns also so this ecotone has a different composition from the uh, from the forest uh, that uh, uh, forest ecosystem as well as this aquatic ecosystem aquatic ecosystem will contain planktonic um, plants that and as well as floating plants as well as submerged plants or benthic plants on the other hand uh, this ecotone has got entirely different plant composition community structure will be bit different the species composition will be different but the species composition will be much higher than that of the either terrestrial or the uh, aquatic ecosystem so this is the example where uh, this uh, terraced uh, rice forms they are the mediterranean shags they are called the shags and it might look very similar to ubund in indonesia but it is not it is uh, the hills hilly region terraced hill that has been um, cultivated for rice since centuries so this is also another type of ecotone um, above uh, this uh, mediterranean shags there is a um, uh, very dry uh, region and uh, below this mediterranean shag we are having some coniferous tree line so this this is a very good example of ecotone and human created ecotone where we see that um, uh, this main um, pla plant that is cultivated is the rice so as it is a human created ecotone it will it is having much lesser variety of um, vegetation so we see uh, that uh, this ecotone can also be of different uh, scale that different spatial scale that is very large ecotone for example um, uh, the ecotone between two biomes for example this picture here here in this picture we see that uh, this is the um, ecotone between the tundra region and the tem uh, temperate region so it is an altitudinal um, ecotone a very large scale that is occurring between two biomes but it can be also very local scale also for example the local scale example is this agricultural field where we see that a single uh, cultivator or group of cultivator can create um, can slash burn a forested area and just uh, do farming um, in that area for 8 to 10 years and then again let the forest regrow so this is a very local scale type of um, ecotone so we see that uh, uh, when we consider the spatial scale ecotone is two type local and uh, large large scale and small scale also this ecotone can be uh, due to natural uh, reasons or due to human generated reason the natural region can be due to altitudinal as well as latitudinal altitudinal that is the cloud forests in the cloud forest what happens in the very high up in the um, in the very high up in the mountain that is the area where uh, we see a high amount of uh, moisture due to the clouds and in the lower um, region they have uh, in the very base of the mountain we have we see that the area is uh, um, mainly xerophytic vegetation uh, very common in the galapagos uh, some some islands 
where uh, the higher uh, region they have an entire the top region of the for, um, of this uh, volcanic islands they have much greener vegetation and in the very uh, lower elevation they have xerophytic vegetation so in the intermediate region between these uh, two region they have an intermediate type of vegetation so this is the altitudinal um, ecotone that we are talking about the altitudinal um, ecotone will have an intermediate uh, that is not very high amount of uh, moisture also not very dry just like the um, uh, foothills or um, the xerophytic region that is found in the lower uh, uh, parts of the hills so apart from Galapagos or the cloud forest of South America, this type of uh, forest is also quite common in uh, Himalayas also where the upper region, very higher elevation region will have snow covered peaks and the intermediate will uh, have um, uh, tree lines and uh, the medium um, elevation forest uh, will have um, deciduous type of vegetation also the vegetation uh, composition will be different because uh, where uh, in the himalayas say for example the upper region will have snow S upper region will have snow then the intermediate region will have coniferous deciduous forest and the uh, very low elevation uh, Himalayan region will have even dry uh, this um, broad leaf deciduous also so it will have the lower region will have this broad leafed deciduous so there is we see we are seeing that there is also differentiation because coniferous is also deciduous but uh, these are not broadleaf deciduous. So we see this is the altitudinal gradient in case of uh, the ecotone. In the latitudinal gradient, we all know that is there is differentiation uh, in the subpolar region, polar and subpolar region. There will be always permafrost and ice, and in the temperate region, there will be boreal forest, and in the tropical region, there will be ha having rainforest. So this is the transitional um, uh, latitudinal transition, and in this latitudinal transition, there are also various ecotone ecotone between the um, polar region and the and the boreal region will be the tree line region and between the boreal as well as the and the uh, rainforest region also there will be an ecotone so ecotone can be uh, natural uh, naturally created or human generated in naturally created there will be an altitudinal or latitudinal transition and in human generated the, it can be a forest area cut uh, for uh, slash and burn agriculture or it can be an aquaculture it can be in cropland or pasture or even very important is that the ecotones as speciation center by this i mean that uh, it will be under normal and uh, that is a natural uh, ecotones not the man made ones uh, because of this uh, that uh, it is a transitional region ecotone a transitional region between two ecosystem for example this is a eco this is an a ecosystem and this is another that is the b ecosystem so uh, this intermediate region that is i am drawing it in blue this intermediate region will have a characteristic that is common to both A as well as common to B. So as a result, it will have much higher diversity of microclimates and higher diversity of uh, ecological niche as a result of combination of two, um, uh, uh, the characteristic of two ecosystem also there will be much higher resources in this uh, region that is in the ecotonal region that will support a much greater biodiversity because for example 
uh, in the region for example this a region is a forested area and this b region is a is a river say for example not river but let's let's take it as a lake so the lake uh, the ecotone between the, that is a lacustrine ecotone lake uh, ecotone will contain an intermediate water um, uh, humidity and uh, then the forest and the lake so the lake will have a very uh, saturated soil but the uh, uh, the ecotonal region of the lake and the forest will have an intermediate uh, humidity so, so for example soil humidity also it will have a much higher amount of uh, sunlight so this will cause um, uh, more amount of uh, juicy uh, plants that will be fed by um, much higher amount of insect so in this lake ecotonal region the diversity of uh, juicy plant will be more and um, that will cause a much higher diversity of insects that feed on these um, uh, or herbivore insect that feed on these plants this will again in turn lead to much higher diversity of birds or other amphibians for example frogs that will feed on these insects so it is it, is, it will be a chain that is from higher diversity of grasses and other um, other herbaceous plants to higher diversity of say for example insects higher diversity of insects to higher diversity of birds higher diversity of higher diversity of birds i know i am drawing it a very bad way of drawing mind my drawing so higher diversity of birds and higher diversity of frog let's say it's a bird this is a amphibian that is the frog so we are seeing that there is a chain of events and these birds will be again preyed by larger birds for example keistrels and all so uh, the the lake lake will always contain of um, only um, uh, fishes and the fish feeding bird whereas in the forest there will be um, fruit eating as well as as because this ecotones are a uh, speciation centers or speciation hotspot so uh, this increases the importance of these region in fact these region if they these region are preserved they are conserved then we can also uh, conserve a wide variety of plants and animals for example this is the example of mangroves which uh, grows in the ecotonal region between fresh water and sea water so this region is uh, the brackish water that is which has an intermediate salinity um, uh, between the highly saline sea water and fresh water uh, so this between this uh, sea water and fresh water fresh water the ecotonal brackish water has an intermediate salinity as well as intermediate uh, type of other uh, type of intermediate turbidity and all other this uh, conditions so in this region we can see mangroves this is the this is the mangrove where we see it is probably rhizophora so this uh, mangrove region is very dense in biodiversity in the root region that is in this region this is the nursery for fishes as well as aquatic invertebrate as well as vertebrate species so the um, uh, eggs are laid there and very small um, uh, sized vertebrates and invertebrate population leave their aquatic vertebrate invertebrate population leave and many fishes come here to feed 
and in turn these fishes are fed by a uh, larger um, uh, larger predators so this entire uh, ecosystem uh, sorry this entire uh, mangrove ecotone has much higher diversity than the open sea and also much higher diversity than the flowing river so uh, we see that um, by just preserving this mangrove area by just preserving this mangrove area we can preserve a much larger uh, number of species than either preserving uh, the um, uh, uh, two ecosystem that is the oceanic or the um, river ecosystem also here in this diagram we are seeing that this is the intermediate region this is the open forest region entire region this one we see in the dense forest there is a uh, limitation of light penetration so the uh, species diversity in the forested uh, densely forested area is much so now we are going to just uh, discuss the various uh, ecotones um, so in any terrestrial aquatic ecotone that is in this region this region so this is the region where we can see a lot of emergent uh, um, vegetation and this ecotonal region will contain all we see this turtle this waterfowl turtle and waterfowl and various varieties of uh, here it we are seeing this amphibian frog and also we are not seeing but there this ecotonal region have maximum density of insects so this is the ecosystem ecotone and in the land ecosystem we have also um, uh, insects and other uh, plant other uh, animals but their density is not that much as compared to this ecotonal region and in the second uh, type of ecosystem that is here that is the aquatic uh, ecosystem we are seeing the uh, now we are talking about the beach ecotone so we know that uh, in uh, beach is the ecotonal region between uh, land and uh, the sea so this uh, beach uh, region will have sand and uh, different type of beach vegetation so in this in this um, uh, picture diagram uh, we are seeing two type of ecotone w um, one is the uh, fresh water phreatic lens system another is the lagoon system both of uh, these two ecotonal region in the beach uh, will um, have much higher density uh, for example this fresh water fresh water phreatic lens this is actually formed uh, when there is a sandbar so this is the open ocean and there is a sandbar there and this is the there is a uh, there is a sandbar entire sandbar and this one is the land system so this is the land system and this uh, this sandbar there due to the sandbar there is certain amount of uh, salt water but in this phreatic uh, lens system what happens is that the lower region will contain salty water this lower region will have salty water and the top region will have fresh water the top region will contain fresh water this fresh water is from the precipitation and as we know that salty water has much higher density than the fresh water so the fresh water will be on the top of it and the salty water at the bottom so uh, there will be in the same uh, fresh water phreatic lens um, ecotone we will have uh, both the fresh water vegetation fresh water animals as well as salty water animals so this is the this is the second type of ecotone that we are talking about in the uh, beach ecotone 
and this type of freshwater phreatic lens we can see in the in very small islands in coral reefs and atolls this type of um, uh, region will contain this type of ecotone that is the this is the second ecotone now this is the, the ecotone one that we are talking are the lagoon system now lagoon is formed when a sandbar they leave a small opening they leave a small opening for the salt water to enter and this creates this lagoon so there is intermediate entry of uh, saline water and also it has got um, uh, some uh, fresh water inlet from various rivers uh, for example in india we are having chilika with this lagoon has got a wide variety of um, birds and fishes and in fact it is also um, it is also a bio biodiversity hotspot here in india so th this uh, lagoon will have a, s a much saltier uh, water in this portion in this portion that is the, the portion that is close to the close to the ocean and uh, those uh, region that is close to the land that is this region this region will contain much uh, f uh, water uh, salinity much close to the salty water sorry uh, cl close to the fresh water so uh, this is the this is the uh, fresh much fresh water region and this region will contain much salty water so uh, we are seeing that uh, in lagoon system also we all are aware that uh, it has got a much higher diversity than that of the um, any uh, other type of lake or um, freshwater body than that of the uh, uh, open sea so uh, this has got an intermediate uh, position lagoon has got an intermediate position uh, between the open sea and the land ecosystem or uh, any other river but it has got a much higher biodiversity so from the very beginning i have been talking about biodiversity of ecotone this is because uh, many question regarding ecotonal biodiversity has also come in csi net as well as that of a uh, set so uh, this was about the beach ecotone and one thing I forgot to mention that in this beach ecotone uh, there is an environmental uh, there is a gradient of the environmental stress so um, we know that uh, the ecotone are the zone of tensional zone uh, zone of transition or the tension zone between two type of ecosystem here the open sea and the land so there is also a lot of environmental stresses for example instability substrate instability that is the there is a shifting sand or there can be uh, abrasive action of sand blast or there can be nutritional deficiency also because we know that as the salinity increases there will be water stress and this water stress in uh, when there is water stress then a lot of minerals though present in the soil cannot be absorbed because th those minerals are usually absorbed while dissolved in water so if there is a water stress so naturally there will be deficiency of these nutrients also also there will be as there is high salinity and low oxygen now the tree line of himalayan ecotone so in the himalayan region we are seeing that in in, in, in the, there is a different gradient different uh, at different height we are seeing different type of mountains so very high mountain will have um, the upper region that is snow clad and as we move downward as, as we there is reduction in altitude so there will be this tree line that I am drawing in yellow not uh, so this is the this is the tree line and this after the tree line the tree starts and they have this 
coniferous deciduous forest and uh, this tree line will have a much higher density of lichens than as we move down the lichen density usually and uh, um, it uh, that both density as well as diversity is lost so if this is the snow line and this is the coniferous region then as the the um, altitude decreases then this coniferous uh, deciduous region uh, will be gradually replaced by broad leafed deciduous forest like that of the sal and all we are very much aware that this type of broad leaf deciduous forest is present but this coniferous region will have lichen but this broad leaf deciduous region will not contain any lichen lichen will be totally absent so we see this ecotonal region that is the coniferous boreal forest will have high density and diversity of lichens and also another thing the to be mentioned is the snow leopard snow leopard and many other animals of the that is uh, the himalayan wolves and all they have uh, this all these carnivore they occupy the same uh, tropic level those that uh, occupy the same tropic level earlier they used to feed on small um, rodents and uh, uh, smaller animals like um, the the mountain sheep that we find in himalayan region various type of sheep and um, so earlier the snow leopard these wolves and other sympatric carnivore they used to feed on the natural population but as a result of increase in the population we are gradually uh, uh, increasing the amount of area uh, under uh, uh, animal husbandry so more and more uh, area in the himalayan region are getting um, uh, encroached by uh, cattle herders and as they um, during the um, summer season as more and more cattle herders uh, with their ever increasing herd population is um, is is a uh, using those um, region so um, these cattle herds they are easy target so uh, the snow leopard and the um, uh, himalayan wolves and all they instead of um, instead of the instead of finding their food in wild they um, keep on hunting down these cattle and as a result of which uh, the human animal intera uh, interaction has increased earlier also uh, especially in the um, ancient uh, time also this type of herding were present but not uh, the intensity of herd cattle herding was not that much so in uh, although in earlier very earlier artifacts we find that this type of um, cattle herding were present but um, as because the number of herders were much less and the number of animals were also not that much so they their area of encroachment was much less as a result human um, leopard interaction were much low and in modern time as the number of interactions has increased and economic loss due to the hunting of cattle by the snow leopard has led to their killing of the snow leopard and now they have become endangered so nowadays we are having a change of strategy we are as it is an endangered species so we are trying to prevent um, uh, such interaction so this is um, how human interaction in the ecotonal region especially in the himalayan ecotonal region has created uh, endangerment of certain species so uh, in this diagram this is a diagram where we are seeing there is an altitudinal gradient the upper region where there is not that much of uh, moisture that uh, will have a bare rock or if it is very high altitude will have snow cover and uh, after um, uh, that is especially in the summer when the snow melts water certain water flow of 
as um, as river and certain water uh, they seep into the ground and create um uh, this uh, aquifers so these uh, in the intermediate region we are seeing that there are various springs and wetlands that are found so uh, along the environmental uh, along this altitudinal gradient we are seeing a wide um, number of aquifers creating a uh, different ecosystem and we see that uh, these um, the mountainous rivers and all these are also having a wide variety of ecotones that is here if it is a um, this is a seasonally flooded uh, area and uh, those th that are found in the very uh, foothills that is the terai region that, that they will contain uh, streams and marshes that remain um, mostly water locked so these region are also a uh, region where we are seeing much, much higher diversity uh, than on the plain land so both the both the hilly region and the plain land has much uh, lower density uh, um, lower diversity of animals than that of the terai region terai region is the region where we are uh, seeing various uh, though the terai region many animals has become endangered due to human interaction but these were once the region where maximum density of wild animals were present so uh, the question that is ecotone represent now by now i think you uh, all will be able to answer that this is the transitional zone between two diverse community let's see the other options that is rate of decomposition of biomass so this has got nothing to do with ecotone this is got uh, relation with the detrius food chain but here ecotone has nothing to do with the detrius food chain so the option b is not the correct option then we go to option c so uh, the state of equilibrium among various tropic level so this is a question that will be among various tropic level so we are now we this is the question that deals with the ecological pyramid either pyramid of biomass or pyramid of number or energy pyramid so this has got a relation with the ecological pyramid so this is also not the right option and then we see option d that is degree of change in the species composition along environmental gradient so a uh, degree of change along the environmental gradient whether it is a mountain region or in the earth if it is uh, gradient from polar to the temperate to the uh, tropical region there also this gradient this uh, change in um, um, change in um, uh, flora and fauna along the environmental gradient that is the age effect that is that occurs um, uh, between two ecosystem that is for example polar region and the boreal region so the ecotonal region the ecotone will the, this is the ecotone between polar and boreal region so the change in species composition in this type of ecotone in the in between the two ecosystem will be called the edge effect so this will be the edge effect not the ecotone edge effect so option d is related to ecotone but not the right option so that was all about ecotone i will be soon making another video on age effect because that is also very uh, common in uh, and very very many times it is repeated so next video will be on age effect because this is related to ecotone ecotone is the uh, region uh between two ecosystem and edge effect is the effect that we see the increase or decrease in the population um in the uh, in the community structure that we see in the ecotonal region is the 
edge effect so i'll be making um, a detailed video on edge effect also and that will also include another uh, g set question so if you like this video do share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel because subscriptions are free but it encourages me to make more such videos and those who have already subscribed thanks for subscription and i have i'm uh, nowadays making videos on g set based questions so you can go to my channel and watch those videos thanks again for watching this video